Hi, I'm Thundercat, and I play Malcolm Sandyfingers in the War for Garaxia and in the fight for the forest as he dungeon masters for his closest friends. Watch along as his adventurers learn of a long-lost magic plaguing the nearby forest. They are called upon to investigate and put a stop to whatever is causing the issues. What will they find? Can they stop it before it's too late? Find out right here as we fight for the forest. We remember where we left off. Um, you went through the, the, the floors, uh, got to the third floor, and thought it was a resting room, but you didn't rest. And then you climbed the trees, and then there was... <sighs> you guys fought each other almost with the, the kitten getting destroyed. It was kind of mean. And then you walk and put your head up through the floor and there was all these arms crawling around on your head and you're like, oh, no, I'm all set. And then after that, you were like, we need to go up. And so you went up and pulled, got pulled through the, the floor and had a conversation with the Black Rose. And the Black Rose is now I like him. getting attacked by Steve. Taking a dexterity saving throw. Oh yeah, I forgot all about that. Shit! Did I did I miss anything, guys? I I, don't, I think I that think was so. the worst of it. Yeah. Okay. So that's where we left off. Uh, Steve had cast yes, erupting I... earth underneath uh, the black rose. And the floor is covered with um, limbs, uh, most mostly arms with claws. Um, and they're oh. just kind of rolling around like snakes on the floor. Uh, and they're everywhere. Um, I completely forgot like I, I had that. They had claws. And then, God, Shatterkai uh, are stupid. The Black Rose is like 80 feet away. And... We're going to start an initiative round. Uh, deck save. What did you cast? Oh, everybody Earth. roll initiative. Jesus. I didn't pull out my dice. What am I thinking? What are you doing? Hi. Initiative. <clears throat> nice. Nice. Failed the deck save. 28 points of bludgeoning damage, and now the around him is a 20-foot cube of difficult terrain. Jesus. Okay. And what did everybody roll for initiative? 14. I also rolled 14. 18. Who goes first between you two? Me. I have a plus five dex. Oh, yeah, for sure. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 18? Yes. B. Steve. I also got an 18. What's your dex? What dex? Okay, I have, <laughs> I have a plus one. I have a bonus, so. I just roll a dice, and what I read with the number I see. That, okay, that's please, it's, there, it's, you it's, know. Yeah. Okay, so... Um... So they... So the arms I have, I'm just going to give you a heads up. I'm using the loathsome limbs from a zombie thing. Um, Strahd zombies? Yeah, basically. Like the arms come off and they can crawl around, whatever. And they keep attacking, yeah. Yeah, um, so that's what they are. But in this, they have them as disadvantage um, because they're just limbs. But right. I'm use I'm not doing disadvantage because there's so many. So I'm using it like a like a swarm. So like you'll you'll be getting an attack uh, randomly, and it won't be advantage. It will just be a regular attack from an arm trying to hit you. Well, you just throwing arms. swarms of arms at us. I told arms you that's arms. what was in the room when you poked your head when you poked your head <laughs> he, through. He literally has yeah. told us. <laughs> I, I I know. Just in my head, he's just like hurling piles of limbs at us. <laughs> um, okay. 
It's like the fucking Beezlebub fight in fucking right, right, right. Castlevania Symphony of the Night with just corpses everywhere. Huh. <laughs> um, you see the erupting earth from underneath uh, <clears throat> the Black Rose. Um, these tentacles fly up and hit him, uh, and you hear, Oh no! This is, this is terrible! I'm stuck in this! And, um... What? <laughs> Why is it the roper? <laughs> No, it's, that was not the roper. That was almost that was a, a roper. It was almost. It was, was almost. That was, was almost it. a roper. A, a um, little and... less silly, and it was still a rope. I'm home. That was the voice, yeah. Oh. Very different. Give me some candy. In my opinion. Uh, uh. <laughs> Z, Z and Steve, uh, you are huh? getting attacks from the hands. But the, these are hurting hands. I don't like these hands. It's not helping. They're hurting. No. Uh, a natural 20 for Steve. No, that and doesn't hit. a 23 for Z. <laughs> Jesus Christ. 14. The number's, the number's 14. <laughs> you, uh, 14. Z, you take two damage. Shield. And um, four. Steve takes four. Is it? What kind of damage is it? Bludgeoning. Um, you said they have claws. They're claw attack, so yeah. Whatever, that would be yeah. slashing. 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 I don't resist either, if it, though. If it was fire damage, I would have resistance. Hey, there are fire DM, is, Are the hands on fire? Fire clothes. <laughs> no, they're not on fire. Okay. Black you know what be really convenient is a fucking fireball spell right now. That would be convenient. Aren't you the fire person? I don't have a fireball spell. Uh, it's like Okay. It is uh, Z's turn. Oh, um, can I even see this dude? Eighty feet away. Eighty feet. Right. That is a yeah. fifteen foot cone. That's not gonna do shit. Eighty feet. Burning away, yeah. hands. Can I do that? Can I like cast burning hands to try to burn some hands? out of my way so I can just mark, make my way forward. Is it like difficult terrain going through all these hands? Oh yeah, it's difficult Invoke terrain. opportunity attacks? Uh, no. It's just difficult terrain moving through it. That would be absolutely so I... obnoxious. It really no, would. They're just, they just, they just, have, they have initiative ta right. times to attack. I will cast Chaos Bolt at him. Okay. At the scary mage guy. Okay. Spell attack. Roll it up. Hey, that was a good roll. Uh, 25. That hits. So he takes, okay. All right, this is such a weird spell. 2d8 plus 1d6. Yep, roll the 2d8. You can pick one. Yep, it's really one. Yes, we're not It's a weird fucking spell. I hate it. It says chaos in it. Damn it! Well, I like chaos. However, this spell is dumb. Oh, okay, okay. <clears throat> he takes 12 force damage. Okay. Jeez. But I did not roll the same on the on the D8, so it doesn't jump to whatever. Okay. Is that your turn? Yeah. That's all I got. Steve? Um. Bonus action. Healing word on Dwayne. Oh, I, is he hurt? I'm like, is he hurt? Do you remember what, do you remember when he gave me the joy buzzer? Last week? Oh. Yeah. Yeah, I, I remember that, so. <laughs> Yeah, even after the healing after that, I still wasn't in, in five super HP. Shape. <laughs> five, a whole hand worth of HP. Fine. <laughs> you like revive. Regenerate HP. HP. Shut your fucking it's mouth. It's unbearable. Does it? How often we've been been? Shut up. Shut. I'm, up. A, I'm full. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and move up twenty feet through the square with the the weird hands, and I'm gonna. Look at him and be like, well, you know, 
don't need to talk too much. I'm just going to point my finger at him and I'm going to cast Toll the Dead on him. And he needs to make a wisdom save. Okay. Sixteen. It's a really weird face. <laughs> I don't remember my PCs. That passes. Uh, it's fourteen, right? Mm. No, it's fifteen. Fifteen, 15 is oh, the number. That's fine. Action, okay. bonus action, movement. Um. Well, all this talk and no bite. And I'm just going to conclude my turn after just kind of shrugging my shoulders at him. I'm just like, he hasn't gone yet. Shut up. Okay, Steve, Not after anything. you after you go, uh, there's two more attacks on you from the, the claws. Neat. Neat. Okay. I'm rolling D4s at you, your number two, so. Mm -hmm. Ah, nice. Uh, I thought you were rolling D4s to hit, because I will tell you, no, they do not. Unless they get uh, both of these 20. are going to miss, I believe. They're, what, the highest is a 13. More than 17? Yeah. 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 That yeah. wouldn't hit me if I didn't have a shield. They jump at you. Try to claw you. <laughs> um, Desica, you're up. I'm going to move 30 feet because it's difficult terrain. Okay. I'm running and then running again. All right. That's my turn. Oh, yeah. Cougar. All right, so what's the situation with the hands? Like, how, how, where, are they just everywhere? The the whole, you ever see a floor, floor full of roaches? Yeah, or a snake. Like, oh, floor is covered. The floor, okay. like, it looks like a concert. In, yeah. It's just a concert of hands. <laughs> Uh, so, so where's, where's everybody at? Uh, like this. Steve is 15 feet up and then 20 yep. feet. I did not move. 20. So I'm oh, here. Okay. You are Steve's 20 Shit. feet from you. I could have cleared out the terrain, but I don't want to hit you guys. Um, uh, I didn't think to move, to be honest with you. I asked about it, but I didn't do it. I forgot. I have Druid Bolt. All right, so oh, it's like firebolt. Let me like wood. Hey Z, how how how's your health looking? How how are you doing right now? So bad. Don't hurt me. <laughs> that was fine. <laughs> <laughs> I'm fine. Uh, are you like fine? Fine. Right, what, what's your yeah, action? Yeah, yeah. Okay, I'm, my I'm, action is I'm lay on hands. So I'm just trying to figure out if I need to split. No, or... I'm. I look totally okay. fine. Out of All everybody, right. if you're asking that question, Steve probably looks the most fucked up. Yeah, I, I guess. Yeah, let me move up to you then. Oh, and what's your speed? Guilt. My speed is typically 30. So you Difficult can go terrain, 15. so it's half 15. So he's five he's, over. You can't get to him. I'll use I'll use my agility. Okay. And And get up to him. Okay, deal. Use lay on hands. And uh, well, I'll split it. I got 20 points left, so you get 10, I get 10. I don't think you can split it. It's an action for you and then an you action have for to, him. You have to touch oh, okay. one creature. So if All you right, want to take I, the 10 you to you first, take, you take the 10. You take the 10 first. Yeah, you probably you probably got a higher armor class than I do, to be honest. Uh, I'm yeah, wearing I'll take metal. the 10. Yes. Yeah, I'm I'm wearing chain. So I have yeah, I'll take the tin first and then okay. Yeah. Cool. I thought I could do both. My bad. But you don't all have right, to uh, use your agility then. You can back stay at fifteen feet. Alright, I'll stay at fifteen for this one then. Yeah. Yeah, cool. I could do that as a life cleric though. I had like a pool and I could that's, spread that. And then that's your turn. Uh yes. Okay. That is my turn. You hear What the hell, guys? I'm just trying to do my job here. Now, my power is now I have to call my friends. And I'm sorry. Oh, I'm so so sorry. And you see oh, the no. you see the like the tower, the glass kind of like form below him and slowly bring him up out of the the tentacles. He like gets brought out of the tentacles and then he starts raising into the air. Like slowly, like he's going up to the next level. He says, "I please, I hope you have a wonderful time with my friends. 
my friend's here. And you look over uh, as he points down to the side of the of the tower. You see uh, the ogre from the b- below being risen up like uh, on an elevator, a glass elevator from the outside of the tower. And the tower opens up and you just see a- It's the great glass <laughs> zombivator. Yep. And like, the big- the the big ogre comes out and the hands all like disperse away from it because they don't want to get stomped on. I really wanted to fuck that dude up. All right. Um, <laughs> and he, he gets, yeah, he slowly goes up and as he goes up, he, um, <laughs> you okay over there, buddy? <laughs> he goes, he goes, take this bitch. And he points down. Uh, towards um, who hurt him the most? The only points. one person's hurt him. <laughs> no, it was two attacks on him. It uh, was, sorry, it was Steve. Steve did. Um, I did 12 damage. Take this, bitch. <laughs> he's gonna try. He's gonna try Dude, to he's so sassy. I love him. He's gonna try <laughs> to do a, a, a can't trip. Oh, he got a natural 20. Uh, on a hit, the target takes fifth level. Uh, third level. 3D, 3D8 necrotic damage. Chill touch. I, I would like to jump in the way yes. of that. <laughs> you, no. I have chill touch. Come on. <laughs> Sorry. I have necrotic resistance. This yeah, is bullshit. Know, <laughs> Dude, Shatterkai are stupid. You take uh, 10 necrotic damage, and you can't regain hit points until the start of your next turn. Until then, a hand clings to the target. And you're a cunt. And then he gives you guys the fingers on oh, the wait, way up. You should have yeah. joined me. And you see him get sucked into the room. I thought about it. Come back. He like just the, wanted, ce- the ceiling just, just like kind guys. of opens and he goes up on the piece of glass that like brought him up. Oh, I know. He wanted all of us for all our powers. My bad. Sorry. That was really Eric. Um, and then. <laughs> um... For Z and Cougar. Ow. Big one for Oops, that one. Oh, God. That misses. And uh, a 14 for Cougar. 14. Jeez. Does that hit? Uh, no. No, it does not. Okay. And the other one misses Z. Uh, and then Yay! another two, And then another two-hand attacks. For Z and Cougar again. God damn it. Z, uh... 23 to hit. Yeah. And a cougar, 15 to hit. Uh, nope. Okay, so you take two damage. <sighs> okay. All those hands are getting fresh. Oh. That one touched my butt. <laughs> uh. You, the, the large ogre zombie paddles forward. Doof, 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 doof. <sighs> Uh, towards. I I think I was the furthest towards him. Yeah, so. it's either it's either gonna be Cougar or or Desica. So. <laughs> I feel like the adventures of Cougar and Desica is always like Cougar's there and he's trying so hard, but everything just naturally goes for him, and I'm just like, what the fuck. <laughs> Uh, it's going for Cougar. Oh my god! No! <laughs> I rolled for it twice, and both of them were for Cougar. <laughs> yep. Because I rolled a d4, and it was Cougar, and then you said you are the furthest up, so I was like, all right, I'll give Desico or Cougar then. And I rolled to see if it was Desico or Cougar, and it was Cougar. <laughs> what you got? Uh, you're probably going to be a pancake <laughs> in the floor. <laughs> no, He's no. got this no, large no, bone... It looks like a bunch of bones tied together, Morning Star. Like, oh, God. Uh, and he's Oof. going to try to destroy you with it. Okay. Oh. oh. 
Uh, natural 20. <laughs> no! Dope. <laughs> Bye, Dope. Cougar. Fuck. <laughs> yep. We're just being okay, It's... Okay. What is he gonna fall into? Yeah! Fucking Roach City. Roach City. Bye, Cougar. Stop it. You're falling into the Slipknot pit. I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. They pushed their fingers into your eyes. 30, 30 bludgeoning damage. <laughs> I, I'm really glad I used that lay on the hands. <laughs> Whew. Uh, so, sorry, bud. I'm going to have to use that for me. <laughs> the next one for me. Too. And then the, the hand. It's okay because I can't heal this turn. The hands are going for Z and Cougar. Oh! <laughs> uh, a ni nine to hit Z and a 19 to hit Cougar. Oh my god! Cougar takes two, da two damage. All right. <sighs> Z, it's your turn. I'm, I'm assuming I saw him just get fucking whammed. Oh yeah, no, you the saw the bad. ogre. Op you saw the ogre door open from the outside. You s you heard the Black Rose monologue as he left and gave you guys the finger, and then you hear you heard the doof 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 as you look over after the mo after the monologue. Looking up, you look over and you see the the ogre just run directly over to Cougar. He's standing like ten feet, he, fifteen feet from he you. He runs past me. Yep. So he's close. To, he's close to me. Uh, he's like Cougar's fifteen feet from you. Okay, and good. the ogre right. is twenty feet from you in front of Cougar. All right, so I'm gonna use a bonus action to cast a fourth level healing word. <laughs> uh oh, I'm like, oh boy. Um, you want you want a D four? Oh yeah. Here you go. Scan the dice. Yeah, you I'm saw going Cougar to use get. A you saw Cougar. Point oh, yeah, go ahead. To reroll two of them. Feel. Yeah, you see Cougar get absolutely like walloped with a large oh, oh, bone uh, morning star, and he's railing back like. Oh, and as he's railing back, two hands bumped up and rip at him. So you get eighteen hit points back. Wow. Which is pretty good for a healing word spell. That's yeah. really good. I rolled, I rolled three fours. Oh, yeah. Thank, Thank you very much. Thank you. Yeah. I need to roll a four for the fiance and roll a one for me, you piece of shit. Um. All right, and then let me mark off the sorcery point, and then I'm going to use my action to cast firebolt at the ogre thing. Sure, do it firebolt up. Firebolt with a T. Firebolt. firebolt. To Eighteen. That hits. What is it? It's like two d ten now, right? Yep. Oh boy, that's one of my fourth level spell slots, though. That's not good, but it's worth it. I think. Yeah. <laughs> is it not going to post it? Is it too big? Six. That's a nine, nine down on the bottom. Thirteen fire damage. Thirteen fire damage. And I will also move back away. Some more. Okay. I will move fifteen feet away from the ogre because I will die. Yeah. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> Steve, you're up. I feel like that was a good turn. Me? Yep. Oh, this is just the situation we have ourselves in. Um, <clears throat> I feel like you're just fucking Krillin from Dragon Ball Z, dude. Like, I'm so sorry. <laughs> A little bit. Um, is the ogre within 120 feet of me? Yes. Okay, good. I uh, take out uh, the little uh, thumb that I have that's a human paw 
And I kind of uh, fucked up. look at that ogre and I said, well, your boss is a coward. This is meant for him, not for you. I forgive you. And then I would like to shoot him with a guiding bolt. Okay. Oh, okay. I like guiding bolt. Guy. He's a big dumb undead. I can't imagine his AC is incredibly high. Thirteen. Yeah. Yay! <clears throat> oh. Oh. Hey. <laughs> Fifteen points of radiant damage, and the next attack at it has advantage. Action, I cast a spell. Bonus action. No, not not just cast. Well, I mean, if I had a bonus action spell, but those don't exist. They do, they just are spell slots. You would have had to use a cast. So, yeah, uh, yeah, that's what I mean. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, yeah, um, that's my turn. Hands! <laughs> What's happening? <laughs> They're both going after Steve. Hey. Can I just both, fucking go both, hang out upstairs? <laughs> You're number three, and I haven't rolled the three once. Change his number. They both miss. No, because then it's. Uh, can I be number three? Rolling. Can Can Dwayne be number three? No, because then I'll just start nope. rolling threes. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, as soon as you change it. Then... <laughs> Jessica, you're up. How far away is the giant from me now? Well, you like he went you dashed, right? Sixty, so he's yeah. like forty behind you. I only went thirty because it's rough terrain. Oh, that's right. Yeah, so he's right next to you. Oh. <sighs> I just pull out my sword and attack him because I'm like, this is fucking ridiculous. I exist in this tower too. I am mad. Okay. <laughs> but nothing has hit me. I feel like they're just all ignoring me. We're not gonna take it. Uh, Why are you complaining? Uh, yeah, right? <laughs> <laughs> this is the vibe I'm getting. A 16 to hit. And a 16 to hit. Yeah, they both hit. Hi, Fuzz Rob. What's up, Fuzz? Hi, Fuzz. We're not dead yet. Not yet. We're not that dead. Uh, 8, 7, 15, plus 14, 29 piercing damage. Okay. Oh, yeah, hold on. Forgot. I think I realized what I was looking for. Here, I found it. Uh, that's my attack. Yeah, those rap wins. I have it already found. Look, I found the microphone, guys. So, <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> what is that thing? This this is where the pop filter went, and then that's, that's the, the mini pop, pop filter, filter now. <laughs> What is that? A pop filter for ants? Oh, yep. that... It is. Now uh... it's over here. This is where I would second wind if I needed it, but I don't. I don't have an action surge. Nope. Yes, yet is the operative word. That's, that's, right. that's all I got. On a scale of one to almost dead, Cougar is close to almost dead, followed by Steve, and then... I helped a little. No, I mean, like, by us. Like, who's who's uh, almost dead? Uh, well, he's a little less than... Yeah, less closest. Than hey, he's got a better mic, guys! Now I'll just get Cookie Doo. So, so <laughs> as you're looking at the screen on Twitch, it goes from right to left for how bad we're doing. Yeah. Left being... Doing great, cause I'm fine. Yeah, I'm doing great too. Me I mean, on death's I... door. <laughs> yes, I'm fine. Uh, it's okay. I'm I'm fine. About half. I'm is that fine. is that it, you Jessica? Me full earlier. Yeah, that's all I got. All right, Cougar, you are up. 
All you right. see a large uh, chunk is... of this ogre fall off in front of you as Desica jumps in behind it. Okay. Did you roll right. with advantage? Yes, I, I did. Oh, him. Okay. Guiding bolt oh, right yeah. up the butt. Up the butt. All right, so I guess, is there an angle that I could get to where I'm not going to hit Desica or Ironhide? With I'm uh, nowhere near foot foot cone. Right, who's that? So, or I uh, said, it's Steve. It's okay. A 30 I foot cone. A 30 on... foot cone. The one no. The giant. It's not with the, the same 30... character. Not with the 30 foot cone. No. You'd hit. Not you'd with the hit. 30 foot. Yeah, that's just too big. I'm fine. Go ahead. Okay. Do it. Uh, so, yes. <laughs> gonna do a pulse wave. So I can try player to. On player on hopefully... player. What? I said player on player violence. Do it. Fine. Player on player violence. Second yeah. time this can't. Uh, second time. <laughs> gonna do a pulse wave so I can hopefully clear out some of the hands. Uh, they'll have to make a constitution saving throw. Uh, and if they fail, they take no. 66 force damage. Um, and they get pushed 15 feet away. Okay. You're also a sorcerer. I was talking about the hands. I'll let you use it. You don't. Need, I'm not even gonna have them roll because they're gonna fail. You don't need to roll the damage because the damage destroys them and pushes them if they're not destroyed away. But since it's a lair action, I'm going to allow you to have one full move, one full turn back to you again, where you guys will have no difficult terrain around you. Okay. So you basically clear an area out for a whole turn. Right. Uh, All right. What kind of deal is the goal? Does that deal? Is that cool? Yep, yeah. So a con yeah, save for. <clears throat> yeah, that's your DM. I yes. rolled a twenty-one. Uh, Malcolm, um, I'm not near where uh Dwayne is, or I apologize, uh, Cougar. Sorry, Sal. Um, uh, do do I still have not difficult terrain? You have difficult terrain still. Yeah, I thought well, so. So yeah. okay, oh, hold on, hold on, because I was I was five feet behind him initially. So, I moved. Where did he move to? Where did you? What forward. direction did you? Move? Forward. Okay. I went towards the wizard, and the wizard disappeared, and then the ogre came to you. Right. All right. So in my head, what I'm trying to do is clear out near where Ironhide is towards he, he a cone still, towards the ogre. Yeah. That that's fine. He he would still yeah. have difficult terrain until he got to it, though. Yeah. Yeah. It wouldn't be like a lot. Unless, okay. unless you wanted to hit him too, that was the only other way. Yeah, no, just as yeah. close to him as I can without hitting. Okay, I'm trying to go away from you guys to see if I can go up. Yeah, so uh, he's so actually that's... yeah he's on the move, so you don't really uh, like you wouldn't hit him. You don't so know you what don't I'm know. doing. Yeah, right. exactly. You're just kind of hoping in the in the wind. Okay, right now. <laughs> I got you. All right, so I'm just I, all right. Well, I clear out the. the, the I like the move. And... That's a great idea. That's um, a great idea. So the giant has to make a con save? Yeah, yeah, the giant would have to make a con save. I rolled a 21 for mine. The yeah, giant fails. Okay. How much damage? So, 66. I haven't rolled shit. Uh, I take half that, I think. Yeah, you'll take mm -hmm. half of it. At most, it's 36. That's fine. 11 plus... Uh, 20. Alright. So you would take ten. Yep, that's fine. I'll heal half that back at my next turn. So uh, so here's a question that I just wasn't sure of with the paladin. Um, would I get another attack or does it have to be a melee attack? Melee. The second uh, so attack? Okay. How the extra attack works, the extra you get to take an extra attack action when you use the hmm. attack action so okay. like if you cast a spell you don't get a second attack that's uh, that's not the attack action okay you took can you read spell. me the end gotcha. of that um <clears throat> oh. uh yeah so you get you push how how far 15 feet uh yeah 15 feet either towards or away i'm gonna push it away okay um uh, another question then... another question yes uh is it does it say what size creature or does it not? Uh, every creature that fails to save. Okay. Um, and 
I need Desica to make a dexterity saving throw. <laughs> <laughs> and if there are any unsecured objects on the okay. ground, they also get push 50. <laughs> Uh, you're going to take two damage as he grazes you because you bounce back just in time. But otherwise, he would have rolled you over and you <laughs> would have taken a lot of damage. <laughs> and I Is use that... my reaction to take an attack of opportunity as he slides by me? No, it's not a, a, a enough option for that. Sorry. <laughs> well, you were trying to like dodge and shit, so that's... He has yeah. to willingly move out of you. Um... Sorry. Is that it, Cougar? Um. I do like this cool blade. Nothing else to that. <laughs> uh. Do we kneel behind him. Yeah, yeah that's I guess. I say, as like I go under his legs. <laughs> I I move up to. Actually, no, I don't. I stay where I'm at. Okay. There's a clear floor. I'm the tank. It's fine. Well, I'm sort of trying to tank too. Uh, yeah, yeah, okay. I move up to him. I I get as close to the ogre as I can at this point, and I pull out the corpse layer. Okay. Nice knowing you. Um, I don't know. She just fucked him up pretty good too. Steve, you're number two, right? Yes. You're number no, two. that's that's Steve's number two. Was... So he has he has hands around him. <laughs> I had to roll to see if the hands would attack. And yeah, 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 yeah. It fucking hit me. That would actually hits 20, 21 to hit. Yeah, two damage. Two points of damage. Yeah, I'm at forty. Slap hands. The ogre My... regains uh, his footing, stands up in front of uh, Cougar, since Cougar's right there. Yep. No! Why would you do this? Because it's it's what I do. <laughs> I feel that's like gonna, we've had conversations. Miss. Fifteen to hit. Uh that's a miss. Ooh. I got. It. <laughs> okay. Uh, What's the number? Uh sixteen. 16. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Good. Oh boy. <laughs> Woo! Crazy. All right, so Steve gets an attack by hands again. For 22 to hit, two damage. <laughs> <laughs> um, How'd you die, hands? Uh, Round of applause. Went, hands High fives. Again. Yep. Okay. Z, you're up. Oh, gee, I don't know. I guess I'll just firebolt the ogre again. Wait, how Do far? It. No. Yeah, Do I'll it. You won't. Everybody else up. Don't say that. I'm gonna roll bad. Won't do. He's on ten out of seventeen. Just roll it again. I hope you're happy with yourself. Actually, I think thirteen still hits. Hit. Roll a five. The big dumb zombie. <laughs> Usually the bigger they are, the easier they are to hit. Eight fire damage. Uh, you see the firebolt hit him. He falls back like it knocks him over. And you see him stop for a moment. And then he comes back too and lumbers back forward. Does that mean fire bad? I don't know. Like, I feel like zombie. Fire bad. Hit it with a stick. That's a skeleton. Hit it with a stick. A skeleton. <laughs> it's not a skeleton. <laughs> um, and then. How far away is um, Cougar now? Right next to it. Like 15 feet from you. Oh, oh, 30 okay, feet. So... 30 feet at most. It would be 30 feet, yeah. I will cast uh, 
a level three healing one. On. Bonus action for Luke. Ah. I don't know how hurt he is. <laughs> About half. <laughs> we call that bloodied in DD. <laughs> bloodied. In DD. That, that's actually the term for it. <laughs> that's serious. <clears throat> Cougar's got like blood running um, down his nose. It's like, all right, I got this. <laughs> 14 hit points. All right, I'll take it. That's my turn. Steve. Steve. Father. I'm pretty fucked up here. <laughs> God damn. Um, you made this mess. Yeah. So I asked you. <laughs> I'm going to cast uh, Rock Throw at the um, Ogre dude. Rock Throw. Mm -hmm. rock. We will, oh. we will rock you. Seven. That misses. Told you. Um, that's my turn. So you're Hands. Yeah. Are you moving? Uh, closer to where the wizard went up. Okay. <clears throat> so like where he started, basically. Yeah. Okay. No hands for anyone. Yay, no hands. Jessica. My turn. Nope. Yeah, yes. <laughs> nope. I said your name. Yes. I... Don't listen to me. <laughs> uh, so he's 15 feet away from me now. I'm like, yeah. Turn around and go at him again. Okay. Uh, 15 and 25. All right, roll, roll damage separately for me. Uh, 15 damage. Okay. 14 damage. Um, you take chunks from his body and he falls back like you're, you think... You've done it, and he somehow regains his footing and stands back up. Stop. It's my turn. Cougar. It All right. Dick. So, <laughs> using the Corpse Slayer Scimitar, um, I swing for a nat 20. Um, oh, that'll do it. How do you want to do it? Right. <laughs> How do you want to do it? Uh, I all right. Uh, I take it and I jump up onto like I assume there's probably like loose flesh around his chest area. Climb up there, grab it, and stab it into the side of his neck, and then bring it out and like cut back to like try to like cut his head like through the back. I gotcha. So, like, leave a big yeah. chunk missing so it's from like, the yeah, side of his just, head. It's like hanging from the side. Yeah. Cool. I like Nearly it. Uh, yeah, that ogre goes down in a heap. Do uh, you have anything else you'd like to do on your turn? Uh, I would... No, I don't think so. Um, I guess move towards where Steve is. Okay, you start running towards Steve that the, at the end of your direction. thirty foot yeah. uh, cone or so, because basically right. you're you're probably uh, you're probably fifteen feet from the end of the cone, and then you're you're in the the hands again. So what's the distance between me and Steve? About point? fifteen feet at this point. Could I use my agility at this point to get to him? Uh, yes. It would double my movement speed. Yep, yep. So, yeah. Okay, so I get to him. Um, I can't do lay on hands right now, but I'll have to do that on the next turn. Bye. Okay. All right. 
hands. As the hands start coming back into their space where they were after, before the pulse wave. Uh, we have one, two, three sets of hands. Z takes one attack, Steve takes two, and Jessica takes one. That was three. But I didn't roll the other ones yet. Oh, okay, great. <laughs> Z does a 13 hit. No, barely. Oh. Hey, Steve, does a 35 hit? <laughs> After one misses Steve. Yeah, that won't hit. Woohoo! <laughs> Does a 17 hit you? That's, That's the a number. fucking number, you piece of shit. <laughs> two damage. <laughs> I had I two, Vandal. Now it's your turn. Uh oh. Vandal, <laughs> Jessica. Does a two four, hit? Uh, 14 to hit. Nope. No, because 17 the number. <laughs> okay. Uh, die by the last, hands. The last two. I'm going to get groped to death. Jesus. <laughs> it's like a Motley Crue show. Uh, Z and oh, really? Cougar. No! Uh, uh, Dirty 20 for Z. Greasy. Gross. A 13 for Cougar. Two damage uh, for Z. Misses. <laughs> okay, we're on Z and then Steve and then we have some hands and then Desica and Cougar. You're in this room that is filled with hands. see where he went up um you he rose he rose like on a platform a glass platform and then the doors above like the the and and like i said the glass is like looks like it just like molds around wherever that it wants to so it looks like the tower did it what does the rest of the room look like now that there's not an ogre he didn't come to uh it's just uh, it's pretty light it's pretty <laughs> bright it's pretty light in there uh there's a dead ogre on the floor uh and there's just a bunch of hands rolling around on the floor right now it's just wide open pose yourself yeah I'm really i didn't hear what you said so really that's good <laughs> He didn't come anywhere near. That's, That's not what I, I said. Yeah. I said he didn't come in my face. Yeah, there. I was trying to clean it up. So, yeah. <laughs> I was just like, nope. It's not how you say that. Um, shit. Okay, I will. Can I just do like? There's nobody around me, really. I was kind of off away from everyone else, so I'll do like a 15 foot cone of burning hands to just kind of. Burns hands. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's so good. Where's my phone? I have never seen burning hands cast to burn hands. This is the never more astute fucking casting of a spell, and I want to tweet. You want uh, me to roll or anything for it, or? No, you don't need to roll for it. But uh, yeah, you see that the numbers start dwindling a little bit. Be like, oh, what is it? It's like in Stranger Things, like the earlier seasons. I haven't watched any of the new ones where they're like just burning back the darkness, right? Just like, yep, burning hands. All right, that's my turn. I'm gonna I'm gonna walk forward as I burn the hands. So Sounds I'm like good. walk through that space. So, so Steve. Steve. Um. So. Patch caught on to the part where you said the tower molds around where it wants to. <clears throat> okay. Did I hear him talk to the tower and like ask it to go up, or did he just? No, kind of, he's like, like he was like he was like oh no this is awful I should leave and like um, the tower just started breaking him. Um, can I uh, put my hands out like he did and um, think real hard? Um, so, uh, tower person, 
thing. Um, I would like to go up and see the, uh, the Black Rose if uh, you allow that. I'm certain for every gratitude. <laughs> um. You feel a tug <laughs> at your heart. You feel it like this, this excruciating chest pain. You, you, yeah. you, um, fall over, kind of like retching, like feel like you want to vomit. Um, you hear, uh, in your head. You want to come aboard? You want to be one with the tower? Sure, why not? Oh my god. What? <laughs> You're gonna get eaten by a tower, and then there were th four. Give me a wisdom three, saving throw with disadvantage. <gasps> oh, oh no. <laughs> Ten? Okay, um... <laughs> We need to take a break. <laughs> no. What have you done? We gotta take a break. Ironhide. <laughs> so I, we'll be, we'll be, we'll be, we'll be right back after. Did. We'll be right back after this, guys. I gotta talk to uh, you guys. Just stay here. Have have an ale and me and me and Ironhide. I gotta go talk in. I room real quick. <laughs> I have to go to the bathroom. Malcolm, you, Malcolm you said I wasn't allowed in your room. Well, we have to talk about what's going to happen next. Malcolm, your room is really nice. Oh, thanks. I've been putting some time into it. And, you know, if Aveliana ever wants to come by, I want to look good. I would recommend a beach scented candle. Okay, stop it. Stop it. No, let's go. Keep playing. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> All right, back back into the game. Uh, that was Steve's turn. Hands. Oh, we have to. I'm gonna make your hands right. clap. Jessica like and Jessica and Cougar. Yes. Jessica. Fifteen to hit. Nope. Cougar seventeen to hit. Fine. Two damage. <laughs> Jessica, your turn. I look at the ceiling and I just scream, "Bring me to the black rose!" Oh my god! They just steal my thunder beetle. That's what I was gonna do, and you said it before me. I'm sorry you went before me. So I, I roll better. All right, give me a wisdom saving throw. Eighteen. Uh, you hear, you hear in your head. I see you all the time. You hear, uh, you hear in your head. Who threatens me? Who is this that threatens me? I'm Desica, the scourge of Waterdeep. Desica, the scourge of Waterdeep, is a mere water being. A mere being to no one, to nothing. Shut up and bring me to him. You can give me an intimidation check. Twenty-one. Jesus, you're rolling good tonight, huh? I rolled a nineteen. I have plus two. I'm not very charismatic. You, uh, you hear? You think treating me like this would get you up here to the yes. top? You think? 
your words will push you further than your friends? Uh, you, you mean like the guy we just left behind on the first floor? These are work associates. They're not friends. You see the platform starts rising with Desica on it. What was that, Clementine? I hate this place! <laughs> Cougar! Uh, where is... Am I the only the... person that heard that, or did they hear You're that? You're the stuff? only person that heard that. And you were, yeah, but you were talking out loud, I think, still. Mm -hmm. Who is she talking to? <laughs> <laughs> uh, where, so where, where's Z at at this point? Right near you, actually. Right yeah, right, she's not right far right from you at this. Feet away. Yeah, it's still mm -hmm. not that far. Okay, well... Uh, I guess my action, w I'm going to wait and see what she does, because my action is going to be to just kind of like try to hold the hands off of both of us. Um, just attack the hands. All right, so uh, you want to hold, do you want to hold an action? Um, I, uh, I, I mean, I guess not really. The only, I say the only can, thing I so, really so the is... Yeah, so basically if you wait till what to see what she does... You're just losing your turn. That's all. Yeah. No. So I'm attacking. I mean, I'm attacking the hands. Okay. Trying something. to keep hands off you. Yeah. Just trying to keep hands all right. away from both um, of us. hands off. Yeah. Yeah. You start uh, removing some more of the hands. Um, they seem to be diminishing, but there's still a lot. Okay. The big um, pulse wave really did a good number on them. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not getting separated again. Bye. All right, so oh, I didn't. Oh, yeah. so you each get three attacks uh, from hands. Uh, one hits uh, Cougar for four damage because it was a nat twenty. They all miss on Z. I rolled two twos and a four. Hey. <laughs> Yeah, thanks for the raid, Blue Jane. Thanks, Welcome Blue Jane. Leaders. Hello. Oh, hey. We're in a we're in a, a little scuffle with some arms, some limbs, just hands and claws, uh, <clears throat> and a few of our characters are having some issues with those hands and claws. But thank you. In. Welcome in. Uh, it is on Z's turn. All right, so I see her going up the plat going up on the platform. Yep. After yelling After at the tower. Tower. But you noticed, <laughs> like the second thing she said was like real forceful, like like so like she was responding to someone. Seems sketchy. It was like really like because she rolled so good for her. Um, Intimidation check that, like, you were like, Whoa, that was different. Um, there's no like stairs, there's no <laughs> stairs. Like a ladder. You haven't seen any <laughs> stairs or a ladder yet. No, um, it was like a platform from Big Hero 6, like, it just whoop. yeah, it's rude. Can I fit on that platform? I just like run and try to get on it too. 
I will allow you to try to run and get on it. You have uh, one try, one try, and it can either be an athletics or an acrobatics check. And we'll say, I'll even say that I'm, I'm going to say the DC out loud is 15. One is a one and one is a minus one. I'll go with acrobatics. <laughs> oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. That teetered for a while. <laughs> yeah. 17. Oh, yeah. Uh, you run and jump and you grab on to the bottom of the t of the thing and you're holding on like like you're trying to do a pull up this is exactly oh, what yeah. i wanted to avoid do i notice this yeah but uh your turn's not for a bit i know yeah you see her run and do that <laughs> r.i.p cougar <laughs> top tater um steve you're up um how far is Desica away from me? As I uh, see the bounty you'd have bounty. to turn around and go about 30 feet. Um, and they're about 10, they're getting to about 10 feet up. Sure. Uh, okay. Can I uh, use my action to dash and um, potentially give Z a boost up to the platform as I'm going up the platform myself? Like, try and make a running yeah, leap so, to the platform. So, sure. Yeah. Give me an athletics check. Sure. This is a funny moment where you had to toss. I don't know why you said my name. Hey. 22. Yeah, you, uh, you run, uh, you run, you see, it's like a, it's, it's like a, almost a trot how long your legs are you're like woof, 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 and you run and jump and as you're jumping you grab on with one hand you grab z's like shirt in the back like crunch it up and like throw her up and then um uh, you, thank you you pull yourself up uh with ease uh almost as if there was some help not a problem glare at me that was creepy Co and oh, cougars okay. down down on the floor <laughs> you were like no problem two attacks at cougar sus. both are gonna hit uh four damage four damage okay use your cat like thing <sighs> I mean, there's Can nothing to grab that? onto. Yeah, I just used it. I haven't. Well, I you took moved. zero movement. I took zero movement the yeah, last time, so you I can use, use it again, again if you want. Uh, would I be right. able to uh, make an attempt to catch the platform? Is that something I would be in range for? I will allow it. You can give me an acrobatics <laughs> okay. check to get you're using like your feet. We'll say we're going to say you're going to use your feline agility <laughs> and your movement, and then you can use your action to jump with an acrobatics or athletics check. All right. That is probably not going to cut it. Uh, 13. Oh, okay. Uh, you <laughs> run. You are using your agile agility to jump back and forth to get away from the hands. There's little spots because you've been thinning out the hands on the ground and you bounce back and forth, left, right, left, right, and you make this jump and as you're about to jump you feel a hand just grab your ankle and you're like shit <laughs> no but you still make it because it's not connected to a body it's just an arm and you <laughs> you grab on and um where one hand grabs on and your other one's like slipping off but then you feel the you see the the platform kind of makes a step for you so your other hand can grab on Okay, so am I dangling or am I? Am, you're you're am dangling, I to... but your left All hand right. almost didn't get it. You got it. <laughs> All right. <laughs> There's still a hand holding on to you, and it's gonna try to claw you while it's holding, and it misses and falls off. Right. <laughs> right, it's like right, like it's just like <laughs> yeah, it's like uh, oh, but I can grab swipe you. And then yeah, falls off. yeah. <laughs> um, 
and we're out of initiative from the hands and you guys are slowly floating up um have like probably we'll say a minute or so to to talk amongst yourselves plan whatever i hand put my over. hands on my knees and i'm just gonna start breathing kind of can i get it can i get a hand over yeah here? can we help him up <laughs> oh I'll I'll help him up, him up. <laughs> uh i you hand him my yet. regular potions of healing i have two of them okay to who the cougar okay uh how much does one of those heal 2d4 plus two 2d4 plus two. Oh word I'm actually right. probably at this point gonna sit down because I'm Take... I'm over bloody. <clears throat> uh, yeah, I'll use both. I get sixteen back. Nice. Thank you very much. That's all I got. I'm out. Okay. Um, I go to Ironhide and I pat him on the back and Steve. Yeah, uh, Steve. Steve. I go to Steve. <laughs> Still, I work character. really, really hard to be depressed all the time as Steve. So, I, you know, I, 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 I did. I thought I did a good job. I apologize. I pat him on the back <laughs> and I give Steve my last ten points of lay on hands. <laughs> Thank you, Cougar. I appreciate it. Why aren't you healing yourself? I thought you could heal yourself. I only have one spell left. That's it? Yep. Or do you not me do you not remember me trying to save Bukesford from the unfortunate circumstances? Yeah. Probably a bad time to mention we could have we could have took a nap. Yeah, well I, I was in the middle of trying to take a nap until you guys started to argue about something. It wasn't arguing. I was looking around. Well. I apologize for including you in the you guys. Yes. Uh, Desica and Dwayne were arguing about something. And no, you guys, you were, then you started. That was you before this. Eating. That was before this. Yeah, I had like, an idea and then I took a nap. Yeah. I was taking a nap. Well, that was the arguing that happened. I was on was the edge of sleeping. You <laughs> killed a kitten in my hand. Because <laughs> I thought I had to murder something cute. I mean, I thought the same thing. Yeah, that was the trick. Yeah. <laughs> I wouldn't have murdered the one you were holding, though. That seemed pretty fucked up. I was in oh. a very, very bad place. I I have an idea. Oh, and you're boy. not now? No. What, what you got? changed? Uh, I pull out a small bag. Tired. It's like a little pouch. Mm -hmm. I'm like, uh, we can get the upper hand. Oh. What's in the, what's what's in the, the pouch? Bag? It's dust of disappearance. Oh. What does that do? I can make us invisible. I mean, I can do that too. All of us? No. I can me. make all of us invisible. That might be helpful. Maybe. That Although, think about it. There's going to be a platform coming up and it's going to be empty. <laughs> it's worth a shot, but dumb? I feel like the tower is going to know where we're at. So we might as well use it. We lose nothing by using it, right? That's fair. So Unless I'm gonna like hold it like till Stranger Things thing. <laughs> till we're about like twenty feet from the, the the ceiling. Okay. And then use it basically as we go up into the ceiling. And it just gives you the invisibility spell. Yes, for two d four minutes. Okay. Oh shit. Or until you. And, until or you until you attack and all that. So we cool. also won't know where we're going to be as well, just to let you know. We could do that. We could certainly do that. That'd be nice. Can you move near the mic more, Beth? Oh, yeah. I said we could all hold hands. Oh, okay. 
if we're invisible. Because <laughs> then we won't lose each other. <laughs> I can't hold my weapons if I'm holding your hands, unfortunately. But if I just hook my hand, like, do you have a belt on? I could just, like, hook into your belt loop. I pull out my rope of entanglement. I'm like, you could just... <laughs> we don't have to Sometimes use I it. Don't... It's just rope. We can be... just use it as Why rope. Why you... I, I, I got a prayer for true. this, but I don't it's know if we name. got 10 minutes. No. no. <laughs> that was probably something you should have done as we were going up there, bud. <laughs> you have like How a minute. How long were we invisible? <laughs> uh, we're invisible for four minutes. Okay. Yeah. Can so... I quickly do a uh, level two healing word on this fucker? Sure. So as soon as she's hit. done doing that, I'll Nine hit use points. the dust. Nine hit points? Nine hit. Hi, Ogre. So, so while we're invisible, hey, don't cast anything or do anything until you're ready to be seen. I legitimately have this spell and I know how it works, but thank you for condescending to I'm me like I'm not talking to you. I thought you were. <laughs> And we're all invisible, so I'm just pointing everywhere. I'm like, I'm talking to Dumbledingus over somewhere, and the other guy like, over there. I have my, somewhere. I have, like my hand, like on it's on your like your belt. <laughs> <laughs> I know you know what you're talking about. Wasn't trying to be mean. All right. You continue. Ah, I can't see. Or you continue up, uh, and you see the bottom of the ceiling open and you can you go through and uh you rise and as you rise you see um a large once again open room um uh, there's not like any like walls it's just a big circular type room um but this one's a lot larger and wider than the other previous four floors and it's weird because when you saw the tower from the outside, it didn't look like that at all. Um, it looks like it's just a straight up tower up and down. Um, so it's kind of different that this one's so much larger than the other one. Um, and inside this uh, large room chamber, you see a um, you see vats of some sort of liquid uh, and there's six there's five of them. Uh, and uh, above each one is this sort of like wood contraption, like a like a um, some sort of hanging device uh, with ropes and pulley systems and whatnot. Uh, and as you look further, um, you see Bukesford hanging from ropes, uh, dripping wet, uh, and there's uh, three men behind him. Um, the three men, uh, you notice one is definitely the Black Rose. Another is a short um, figure. Um, can't really see much from from where you are. Um, has a large cloak, like a cloak over his head and a, and a hood. Uh, and then the other one is a medium height, like 5'10-ish. Um, pretty muscular uh, human or half-elf. Um, and he's wearing a dark cloak. He's got brown, tussled hair. Um, and you can see a rapier in one of his scabbards. Um, and, uh, uh, up, if, as you look up, you notice at the top of this domed chamber, it's domed. So, and it's like, uh, 100 feet up or so um there's just a br real bright glare like at the very top just a real it looks like the sun's almost bouncing off the the domed chamber and shooting back down into the building um what are you doing as you get pulled through the floor you're invisible so you said there's a a short one a medium one and the black rose. Yep. Oh, I just know the short one. Can I one. make an insight check to see if that 
small one is the same height as Regis Tigger Willie. You can give me an insight check. I'm I ex I'm thinking the exact same thing. That's why I was like, Grr. uh, seventeen. Could be him. Fucker. <sighs> it's a short then, figure, but I'm like, a lot of halflings the... and gnomes are around the same size. Could be him. Could be Malcolm. I'm guessing the medium-sized <laughs> figure is what's his fuck the guy that we're supposed to come and stop. Artemis. Yeah, that's my guess, but I don't know. Right, I don't, I don't actually know who he is. Right. Nope. No. Shit. Um. <laughs> I'm going to move closer. Holding Who's on. holding on to holding who? On. Shuffle, shuffle. Is what shuffle. I want to know. <laughs> yeah, what are, yeah. How did you guys set up the holding on to each other? Because if Jessica starts walking away, you're not, the only person that said they were holding on to her was Z. Yeah. So oh, if the plan was to hold on to each other. You so. don't know. You can't see them. You're all invisible. We're you don't, all invisible. You're not, yeah. So it's not like you're all on the invisible plane and you can see each other. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got you. We'd have to be like touching. To know where we are. That's the only way that I could think of, at least, that you could Okay. So Desica starts walking away, and Z's holding on to a belt loop. So Desica and Z start walking towards... I grab... Artemis. I mean, who is near me? You can reach yeah, out. Give me, give me a... Give me a... Uh, a dexterity, dexterity check with disadvantage, because they're invisible. Disadvantage. <laughs> What you doing? You can, if you're proficient, Stetro? if you're proficient in uh, sleight of hand, you can use your sleight of hand. Uh, am I proficient? Probably not. Are you an urchin? Yeah. Uh, twelve. Um. You uh, you have trouble reaching out. You don't find anyone, and no purchase on anyone. Said that before we went up that we should all be touching, but <laughs> Cougar, what are you doing? People don't listen. Can I try to swipe for Steve's tail? <laughs> sure. Give me a <laughs> give me a sleight of hand or dexterity check for. It's with disadvantage. Remember, it's like a half oh, tail. It's not like a whole tail. Well, my second one was in that one, so no. Yeah, you have <laughs> you have no. issues finding purchase on his tail. <laughs> What are you doing, Cougar? Uh, I'm moving towards the people. Okay. Move over there towards them. We're just going to walk into each other like a bunch of <laughs> yeah. assholes. Eventually roll. I'm going to eventually have you guys roll, and if you roll the same number, it's going to be like you walk into each other. <laughs> um, uh, um, Steve, what are you doing? Did you almost call me Ironhide, Malcolm, you <laughs> son of a bitch? <laughs> um... <laughs> that's me actually just clearing my throat i'm trying to think i you're that doesn't help <laughs> sorry i think to myself well we should have given him just hold on to each other said what we were doing i don't follow plans i'm just saying it in my head and um a little bright or dark in here oh real bright it was like a glare from the roof and we're trying as a party we're trying to kill the black rose and these i think that was ever established it wasn't can I make some sort of insight check to discern what these people might be doing as they walk around? Sure. I don't think Give we me an know. insight check. I don't think we know. No one fucking knows what's going on, and I don't. <laughs> I and know. I was the only one who was suggesting with the DM for five minutes. I was told 16. to come here, kill Artemis, and take the necklace and bring it back. That's my job. 
Uh, with the 16, you would guess that Desica is probably trying to get as close to the people as possible. Uh, and that Z is probably close by because you heard her say, I'm holding on to her belt loop. Cougar, wild card. <laughs> <laughs> you damn straight. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, excuse me. Yeah, damn straight. <laughs> I'm gonna move up 30 feet and I'm just gonna hold my action and I will tell you what my trigger is. Okay. Literally said. Jessica, tell me what you're, how close you're get, trying to get. How far away are they? Uh, they're about a hundred feet from where you got put on in, into the floor. So have I moved a thirty, or just as have I started? I would say you're about thirty. You you went started walking. You're like going your thirty with Z, and you're getting to the end of it. Yeah. <laughs> I will whisper find cover. Can't hear you. I whispered, you fucker. <laughs> <laughs> All right, how close are you getting? Um... I'm going to move 30 more feet towards them. I'm going to assume there is no cover in this room because it's an open room. No, it's so it's open. So, but, but think of there's vats every, there's five large vats. They look like pools of some sort of liquid. Uh, above them is like some sort of contraption with pulleys and ropes. Um, and it's got like, it's like a square that's attached to the top of it. And you can see all these ropes and there's a little like platform or deck around one side of each of these five um, tanks. And the tanks are 10 feet wide, easily around, like diameter. And um, it's a large round room, like there's a dome to it, but there's there's different, like these, these big vats. So picture one every like 20 feet in a circle. So there's definitely, yeah, there's definitely some cover. I will see, and they're on the farthest one then. away. Yeah, they're at the farthest one away from where you came up. I will, I'll peel off and take cover near one of those then, I guess. Okay. Can I also inspect one just to see like what it is? Sure. Um, give me a, well, what, what, what kind of inspection check are you trying to do on it? Arcana. Okay. Yeah. Give me an Arcana check. <laughs> what? It's on the floor. Uh, I think that was a one. No. Oh, it was higher than a one. Fucking eight. I, it was a 19 and then it went eight. Eight. Um, yeah. with an eight, that's. You're not sure what this liquid is. It looks it it looks weird. Um, I sure have a guess though. Uh, you could probably you could probably uh, you see it looks more. It almost looks like a like some sort of uh, mass to it. There's like a it's not like a gelatin. Some sort it's of like, like viscous. Yeah, it's viscous. That's a good word. Almost an ooze. No, not yeah. I mean, it could be an ooze. Who knows? With an eight, that's what you um, might think. <laughs> Who knows? All right. Well, because I I know that. How far away is Bukesford? He must be like where they are, right? Yeah, he, they're standing around Are Bukesford. He's hung like, he's got his wrist like being hanging, and he's like, it looks like he's dripping the, the the stuff. So I thought. Boy, do I have a guess! All right, it's my turn. I'm done. All right, yeah, you guys move forward. Um. You get in range to hear um, the talking from the, the three. And you hear... Um, you hear the 
half elf human hum, humanish person say so when will it be done i need this now it's powerful and you hear uh the shorter one well it takes time you know it takes time uh and the black rose goes please let me have a handle on this i can take care of it no problem um, so when the when the short one talks do we recognize the voice you can give me a perception check uh natural 20 uh so 20 so sounds like regis tigger willy Um, 18? Yep, sounds like him. Okay. Where'd he go? Um, with, uh, with that, yeah, you, uh, see the Black Rose walk forward and you see the, the cloak, dark cloaked figure, uh, turn real quick to him and grab his arm, like, unbelievably quick, like the fastest you've ever seen anyone ever move. Uh, and there's just a dagger at the man's throat. And he says, you will not touch what is mine. And the black rose, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, sir, sir. No, believe me, I'm doing everything I can for you. And uh, you see him like back up like steps. Um, uh, Cougar, what are you doing? What are the vats themselves made out of? They're some sort of metal. Okay. Where are they in relation to the vats? Like, are uh, there is there a vat nearby them? Yeah, they're standing behind one. It's on. They're on like a wooden deck that's built off of the vat, like so. Picture oh, like off a, of the side like, of the like vat. a yeah. So think of like a like a six foot tall. 10 foot round cylinder and then there's like a wooden deck where they stand and they can like look in the vat or there and then oh, there's that, the top. Yeah, okay. and then there's the contraption that's above the deck that holds that's holding Buxford. Oh, and it's holding him over the vat. Oh, and, he's all and, wet. And, and there's like ropes that are tied down like beside them. Ooh. Okay. Well, in that case, I just keep moving towards where they're at. Okay. How far have you gone so far? 60? This is your 60? This is 30 and then 30, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this yeah. will be 60. All right. So you guys are... Uh, and then we'll say Clementine's like 45 back. Like she's fif she's 15 behind you guys hiding behind one of the vats. But you don't know. That's where she is, though. Can't hear you when you talk. Beth. I I wasn't. Oh, uh, I was. Just... You mouthed something. <laughs> okay, <laughs> okay. I didn't like... hear. I didn't hear what you said. Um. Uh, and then Ironhide. I, 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 why do I keep calling him Ironhide? Steve. <laughs> Got in my head, and now I'm stuck there. What? Well, it's your turn. What are you doing? Uh, continuing to do what I told you, and that is where I am. Okay. Gotcha creepy as fuck um you see um as uh you guys continue to creep closer uh you see a creep. Oh. <laughs> black arcane mist start forming around Bukesford. this mist starts uh like it's like a like a cyclone around him it goes around and around and around, and then all of a sudden it slows down, and you can see it kind of go behind into his, like, uh, back of his neck, shoulder region. And you see it go into it, and you see this uh, rune, and it looks like waves on his back. Um, you see it, like, raise out of his back, and then come out and fall to the ground, some sort of, like, leather with a rune that rune like printed on it uh and you see the human figure pick it up and uh you hear him say um a word in does anyone speak deep speech 
Uh, he says one some, campaign. He says he says something to, along the lines of Brock, and you're like, "What the fuck?" And you see the wisp of the energy flow and roll around him, and you see uh, him like grab his like shoulder, and he's like, "Ah," as it imprints the the sigil on his shoulder, uh, and you see Bukesford's body just lifeless. In the... Oh no! Was it lifeless before, or was he breathing? Um, he was breathing before. Um, okay. And then they drop the ropes, and he falls into the vat. Can we tell what happens when he falls into that? Uh, not from where you are right now. Now he's like covered. There's not like windows on the vats or anything. Okay. And it's on Desica. Hi to us. Uh, you're about 30 feet away at this point. When they talked, did it sound like echoey in here or was like you could pinpoint where a voice was coming from? It's actually like less echoey than you would expect. It's very cool. It seems like almost peak conditions. Uh, I'm going to play my character with the rope in my right hand, my left hand. I'm going to, with my sword, like start dragging it along the ground so it makes that like the sound like a, a sword dragging sound. Uh, I'm going to say, so you lied to us and I thought you were cool. So I need you to sit down and that's going to be my trigger word for the rope to try and tangle the black rose. Within 30 feet, if I say the word as an action, he needs to make a let me pull the thing up. Thanks. Dave. Yes. Okay, and then you become and then you become visible. Yep. Okay. A strength save, he fails. So he is restrained. Okay. Uh I can release the creature by using a bonus action to speak the second command word. Uh target restrained by the rope can use an action to make a DC fifteen strength or dexterity. On success, he's no longer restrained. The rope has an AC of 20 and 20 hit points and regains one hit point every five minutes as long as it has at least one hit point. If it drops to zero hit points, it's destroyed. Okay. Uh, um, and then yeah. I'm going to point my sword at Regis. Uh, be, no, go ahead. Finish what you were on to say. Oh, yeah, go ahead. And be like, and you are the worst boss ever. All right. Uh, yeah. You have advantage on the attack because he doesn't know it's coming. No, it's just a regular attack roll, right? Well, he's visible now. Yeah, but I'm saying it's a regular attack roll. You don't get advantage because you're invisible. No. Are you even attacking? Yep. You, attacking? Uh, you see Steve reappear uh, on the other side from the Black Rose about 60 feet, and he looks directly at Desica. I really think we should hear him out, and I uh, released my last spell slot, and I shoot a guiding bolt at him. At who? Desica. Oh, she's a girl. No, I, I was talking, we should we should hear the Black Rose. Maybe show. you said you shot a guiding bolt at him. At him. At her. At him. M. 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 Yeah. Um. yeah. No. Uh, 20 um. to hit. Yep. Okay, that's a five. Wait, wait, wait! How close am I to Steve? Not close. Fuck. Nine. <laughs> Fifteen. Seventeen points of radiant damage. The next attack advantage against you has advantage.
I'm mad All that right. I healed you. <laughs> uh, I need, I need uh, everyone to roll initiative. Yeah. I was playing to my character though. Trust me, Beth knew she shouldn't heal you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I was like, oh, I didn't do it. Cougar's trying to make amends. <laughs> you did. All right, uh, Cougar. That's a 10. Jessica? 24. Um, Z? 9. And Steve. Eighteen. Eight? Eighteen? Ooh. Eighteen. Yeah, wow. put a one for that eight. Yeah. Eight versus eight. I eighteen. I, I hiccup. Eight. <clears throat> eighteen. Eighteen. <laughs> Feel bad because you're killing your friends? No. Uh, <laughs> Ironhide probably feels terrible. Patch does not. This is a one shot. At the uh, at the end of Steve's turn, shooting his guiding bolt. Um... You see the human character just like almost. He's so fast. He just turns. He sees. So he hears the scrape of. Once he heard the scrape, he turned. He was on his way forward towards Desica immediately, right at her. Dagger, rapier already drawn. And he's going to attack. He has advantage. He has advantage. Yes, he does. Yes, he does. So that's going to be a. Uh... Yeah, that's going to hit. 25 to hit. Uh, gonna use his rapier. Should have said that first, but that. take uh, eleven cold damage Ooh. as this frosty uh, rapier swings out, and you see like this blue mist behind it. Blue mist. Oh, nice. Um. Uh, he looks, he looks you right in the eye, Jessica, and he just like has this dead stare that to you that is just unnerving. He moves with such, such precision and the, the blade moved so quick that you are you're like uneasy in your boots right now with like, you thought you were good with the sword. This, this man is an actual master. Um, and it is your turn. He's just standing there dead eyed looking at you. Like, I'm not afraid of anything you can bring to me. What do you have? Uh, a little unnerved. I go, I'll be right back. And I use my last teleport and teleport 30 feet towards I, uh, Steve. Oh, we got it. Everybody's stuck <laughs> now. Everybody's in it now. And then I run 30 more feet towards Steve, and I attack him twice. Okay. Fuck him up! Oh, uh, 22. Mm-hmm. And a natural 20. Hey, there you go. Uh, oh, so boy. eight damage from the first attack. No. Oh shit! There you go. <laughs> Thank you, Fuzz. <laughs> Brain hurt. Give me the numbers. Seven, seven, and eight. That's twenty-two. 
So 22 plus the... 30 total. 30 total. Shit, dude. Yeah, but you got... Still standing? Yeah. You guys gave me a, lunch, a bunch of healing. Thanks, guys. We gave you lunch. Yeah. <laughs> well, I'd really actually kind of go for some lunch right now. <laughs> It's uh, it's the humanoid's turn. Artemis, his name is Artemis. You figured that. Uh, he yeah. um, he runs following Desica. You break away. He breaks away with you. Um, following, running directly behind you, like close on your tail, makes an attack. As With advantage. advantage. How does he have that much movement? Holy shit. Vampire. He, uh... Is he? I don't know. He rolls a, 20, 20, a 30 to speed? hit. Yeah, he hits. Um, I have resistance to all damage right now, so... This is with his rapier again. What's that from? Resistance to all damage? The teleport. It's the blessing of the Raven Queen. From? Shat being a Shatterkai. Ah. That's the race. I can use it a number of times equal to my proficiency bonus. I used it once Last outside time. against the T-Rex, once inside against the thing, and I haven't used it since. And that was my last one. Yep. You take 42 points of damage. So 21. And then he's going to, you see the this jeweled dagger he has. He's holding, he's got his rapier in one hand and he's got his jeweled dagger held backwards. Uh, and he's just pop, one of those pops out there. For a hit. And it's It's eight, eight damage. Oh, four. Okay. Um, I, uh, blood shoots out my mouth, but I make sure that it goes on him. Okay. Uh, One. Number one is to this time, Desica. I need you to make a dexterity saving throw. From what? Uh, the <laughs> you, it's a layer action. You see, you see a large beam shoot from the glare that's in the top of the dome down at you. Twenty-one. Okay. Yeah. You take uh, no damage because you jump out of the way. Um, Steve, it's your turn. Um, before you go, you feel, uh, an, imme an immense warmth in your chest. You feel, oh. you feel great. Um, oh. you feel bloody. Like you feel, you, you see the blood and you're like, this is nothing. It's not a big deal. Um, you feel, you feel the urge to, uh, Walk over to one of the vats and get up on the deck and go in the pool in the vat. Yeah, sure. Yeah, that's, uh, that seems. I would like to use my reaction to hit him. Um, I haven't said anything yet. So yeah. you hold your goddamn nope. tongue. Nope. I would uh, like to that's disengage. Your urge. Yeah, that's your. Um, urge. And I would like to go ahead and walk thirty feet. 
Yeah, you were at you're near you were at a vat, so you get right up onto the thing and you have your chance. So to uh, guys, I really think we should hear out Artemis. I mean, he's got a lot of good things to say and it kind of feels pretty great. You literally can't see either one of us. We're both still in Yeah, I'm just saying it out loud, okay. looking around. And then, look at me, Aaron. And then <laughs> splash. He's in the vat. Okay. That is your turn. Cougar. Thank you. <laughs> um, God, now I, I'm questioning what happens in the vat. <laughs> um, can it, would I be able to get close enough to see if I still see Buxford? Like, is he dissolved? Do I see any sign of what could have happened to him? Um, all right, you can walk closer to the, the vat that Buxford is in if you want to look over. You'd have to, like, look over the top. Boy. Oh, okay. You're still invisible. You ever see a cat looking at a fish tank? I can't wait to see what happens next, folks. <laughs> okay, so, I mean, I imagine that would take all of my movement. Mm. To get next to it at this point, and then I'd have to wait till my next turn to actually climb it. Are you it's climbing? only no, six you can, feet. Yeah, you can, you can look over. You can look over. You can go up on your tippy toes and look over. I allow that. Yeah. Oh, it's only six feet tall. Okay. I, in my head, they were, like, much bigger. Okay. Yeah. I'm sure like, you said that, and I just missed it. Tanks. But... Yeah, that was in my head. It was like Boston no. Aquarium no. tanks. Joker toxin. Yeah, Jeez. not Joker. Yeah, it's not Joker tanks. No. <laughs> okay. All right. So I, I look over. Do I see any signs of what's going on? Um, give me an investigation check. That's intelligence based. Uh, fifteen. Hey, um, that's a good yeah, goal. Yeah, you look over the side. Um, you can see that Bukesford is just kind of floating in it. No, remember burning, also, no, was dead. No, no, he's he just wasn't floating. Breathing. Okay. He was. He was breathing before the mist took the tattoo out, and then the tattoo came out, and then he was dead, and then he dropped it. Then, then he was that. lifeless looking. We don't know he's dead. Yeah, lifeless. I'm pretty he's still sure he's... lifeless in the in the goo <laughs> right now. Okay. From, your, from your look. G E G dead. All right. Well, I I guess at this point I'm still gonna keep my surprise and okay hold off on my attack. No mm. problem. Z, you're up. You see, you heard, you oh. saw, you just saw Steve jump into the vat after shooting that. after shooting Desica and Desica going over and stabbing him. The oh, fuck! It fell apart so fast. Um. How close is Artemis or, or, or Artemis in? Jessica? In my butt. Uh, yeah. No, no, but like, um, how you're close you're they probably meet? you're probably about. I would say forty feet away from them. Can I get within thirty feet? Sure. And then I will attempt to cast Maximilian's Earth and Grasp on Artemis. Okay. What do I got to do? Uh, it's a strength saving throw. A strength saving throw? Yeah. Okay. I gotta check a couple things real quick. This is the this is basically either it works and awesome or it doesn't work and we're all gonna die. <laughs> we're all gonna die. That's gonna happen. Well, I rolled a D twenty to decide whether I was going to do this or whether I was going to dimension door away and say fuck this, and uh, <laughs> I got very close. I I I would be totally okay with that. <laughs> it was ten and below dimension door away. Ten and, or uh, like anything above ten, stay and help. And I rolled a seventeen. All right, strength saving throw. <laughs> okay. Because my DC is not that high. Oh, it's not very good. Um, he did not pass it, but he's oh, going to choose shit. to pass it. No! Bump. Ah! Um. Fuck. All right. <laughs> like the EEG's got fucking. I'm visible now. Yep. You see him just once again 
the um, the the absolute fluidity in his movements the 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 speed the elegance and the just mastery of footwork is insane and and you're just like you're almost scared by how good he looks with a sword in his hand hey everybody come see how good i look anything else z Oh, you can do that. That sucks. Okay. Um. Uh. Because it, the spell doesn't fail; it just doesn't grab him. So the the giant hand is still there. Yep. Uh, I said concentration spell. So. No, that's my turn. Oh. Shit. Okay. Sad, because that would have been so cool. Like, turn the tide, man. Because he would have been restrained. I'm in a vat of goo. I don't give a shit about you, you fucking traitor. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. I don't What's know that? what it does. I'm just excited to be here. I just want to make sure he's not coming back. You see you see, uh, Regis Tigger Willie run over to the vat that Ironhide... Uh, why do you... Steve, mess, fuck, <laughs> fucked me up once, and now I'm gonna do it all the time. You see, Steve and he can do all over again. Yes, and he presses, he presses a a button, and you see some cogs start moving, and a um, the ropes lay down inside of the vat and start pulling Steve out, um, and he's breathing this... still, and uh. The Black Rose is restrained by the, the rope. What? Uh, come on. This is... Seriously, just join us. Why are you running away? And now I've got this weird rope around me. You guys are out of your minds. This is... Just just, just join us already. You get anything you want from... The tower is amazing. Um, What does he have to do? A strength save to get out? Strength or dexterity. DC 15. <laughs> you ever seen a wizard try to do one of these? It's great. Come on, guys. This is bullshit. <laughs> All I can picture is like hanging someone up like on a coat hook. And then, come on! Come on! Like Scrappy Doo, hanging him up by his collar. He's restrained, right? Yes. Yep. Yeah. He ain't doing shit. I was hoping that he might have this C-step, but he doesn't. Nope. Uh, he's going to try a dexterity check. That one. This is some bullshit, guys. Like, what the <laughs> fuck? I thought we were cool. I was really getting to know you, and now you're an asshole. You said we'd be alive. Uh, at the end of the Black Rose's turn, uh, there is a magic dagger attack on Jessica. I'm Jessica. glad I still have that fucking resistance up until the beginning of my next turn. <laughs> still with the hey, dagger, are you happy right? the tower knows you're here now? Because you're... Oh, no, Ironhide moved. Never mind. Does not have advantage. Steve moves. Ironhide's not here. <laughs> Neither is Steve anymore. Ironhide got up and walked around to the <laughs> other side of the table. Steve's still breathing. I'm going crazy. Uh, okay. Fuck. Uh, <laughs> Jessica, it's your turn. He missed? Yep. Can he roll again? <laughs> You. He he can if he wants to, but I'm, I didn't use um. it yet. <laughs> Shut up, potato. <laughs> I thought it was funny. Tater. I think it's funny too. Fuck off, tater. I keep fucking it up. <laughs> it's all on Guess me. Guess what? You'd be here too. Guess what? You're already dead. Yeah, How's that make you feel? I killed you. Bukesford is dead. Murdered. No, it wasn't even murder. It was neglect. 
yeah. neglect, liability. <laughs> you, sir, were our insurance policy. We ditched you so we could get to floor two and pull the rope. <laughs> <laughs> um. So <laughs> here's what's happening. Seeing that the person that hired us is here working with the person he hired us to get. I put my sword away and I say, let him go. My contract is done. I can't, I'm not going to get paid. I sit. Okay. Okay. You sit. You sit. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Seems like a terrible I love idea. I love this. I love That's this. It's Vandal. That's what my character would do. My contract is done. Your character is that what fucking Broomhilda the Witch on the ship is doing? Because that's all she ever does. Sit. I, I, my goddamn chair. I don't know why I called it Broomhilda. <laughs> all right. We're not end. getting paid, so I don't have a contract anymore. Sitting still seems like a bad idea. I would at least why am I going to pay? I'm not doing I'm this. I'm going to die either way. Oh, okay. <laughs> at the end of your Welcome turn... Part of at the end of your turn, you you see... Um, Artemis look down at you, sit like watch you sit down and go, smart choice. And then he runs uh, towards Z. Uh, you were 30 feet die. away, right? You moved 30 feet closer. Yeah, you moved 10 feet. Okay. I sure did. Yeah, he, uh, he moves. He uses his uh, legendary action to move and attack. Rut row. 16 to hit. Should have dimension doored. That hits. I should have dimension doored out of here when I had the chance. Could you have imagined if you dimension doored into one of the vats of goo? <laughs> <laughs> I know you thought about dimension dooring up there. Uh, you take nine cold damage as his magic uh, frost rapier pierces Ow! you. Rude. And now it's his turn. <sighs> Fuck. Um, he uh -oh. makes two attacks. There's no one around you, right? Nope. Okay. Alright, okay. That was the end. Uh, 28 to hit. Oh, yeah. The second one is a 17 to hit. Nope. Yes, that hits. I don't know. It's one... fucking 14 <laughs> AC! I'm a goddamn sorcerer! Okay, you take... Oh, I'm dead. I'm gonna die. It's done. Let him roll his damage. Let the DM have his fun, too. No, no, He's got done. dice. He wants to I'm roll I'm dead. Him. It's over. Cause that dagger does a lot of damage. That last one was nine, right? Nine. Yep. Yeah. yeah, I mean, he did like 40 something to her. I don't even have that many hit points left, so I'm dead. Into the vat with you. <laughs> Fucking tater. I should have definitely dimension doored away. Fuck you guys. I'm never helping you again. 30, 36 damage. Oh my god, I'm still up. Wow. <laughs> and you that... can still that was cold. Yeah. Thirty-six no, cold damage. Yeah, I'm not and resistant then... to that. That would be nice. I meant to mention door, but you said. And then he said, and then eight, eight. <laughs> uh, I know. Magical dagger Done. damage. Oh. That was the second attack. Yeah. You are unconscious. Uh. Okay. Z is unconscious. Oh, <laughs> oh my God! This is where we die. <laughs> Regis, Regis presses a button uh, that's connected to the machine, uh, and you see, <laughs> and you see, you see, uh, you see Steve's, you see Steve's body uh, start to shake a little, um, and you see um, this like stone, like granite rubble kind of start swishing around and swishing around and out of his chest pops a like rock symbol in leather and Regis just reaches out and grabs it before it hits the before it hits the ground but you see he's wearing gloves and he walks David Lee Roth. he walks towards Artemis leather pants and everything uh I broke Mando with that dude <laughs> rock symbols come on Tower action is going to shoot at 
cougar. It doesn't see cougar. Let me see. If it, <laughs> it does. Let me let me see if it knows cougars in the room. I'm no. I'm pretty sure it does. Yes, it does. Cougar, I need dexterity saving throw. Even though you're invisible. That one. Uh, <laughs> can I get advantage Prepare because I'm? <laughs> you're you gonna take... turn into the kitten. You take two force damage. Ah. Okay. Aww. I, I rolled. Lo I rolled low. <laughs> How um, low can you roll? Steve, it's your turn. Uh, you what feel happened in the goo. You feel an excruciating pain as you're lifted out of the goo, and some in your you feel like you've lost your rock powers. Oh, neat. Uh, and then you are unconscious. Uh, at this point, <laughs> the ghost lantern, the spirit releases and goes out, and I'm stable. You have one HP, and you're still in the contraption hanging. Perfect. I hate you. Uh, <laughs> Cougar, you're up. <laughs> that is, stupid fucking item. Is Regis Tigger Willie still on the platform, or did he went towards He started Artemis. walking towards Artemis, who's with Z. He's not there, okay. though. Like, it looks like he's like just, there, man. He just kind of, like, turned. It's like he's turning and going that way. He's, he didn't he's start still run. on the platform? He's still on the platform. Okay. Jump out the glass, man. <sighs> Cats always land on their feet. Would I be yeah, able right to on... use mold metal to kind of fold the side of the bat in over itself and knock whoever's standing on the platform towards the bat, like into the liquid? Oh, shit. I'll allow it. Uh, okay. I'll have him roll a dexterity save. Okay. The wizard once again. Save. No, uh, they here. they pass the dexterity save. So you start moving. They, she, he rolled a nineteen. Um, oh. He uh, you start rolling the vat in, and you see Regis like he's got gloves on. He's holding this leather piece with like the runic symbol in it. And he's like running. He starts to walk towards Artemis, and you see him like start sliding backwards. He's like, ah! and he grabs on to the top, and like he's like hanging at an angle from falling into the vat. And he's like, he's pulling himself up slowly, but it looks like he caught himself. Okay. Uh, and now you're visible. And now I'm visible. Um, is. I can't do anything. Yeah, okay. I'll, I'll, I'll. All right. Uh, I guess I move towards uh, Artemis. Oh, God. Why? No. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I move towards Artemis and Z. <laughs> okay. Is that the end of your turn? Um, yes. Be the end of your life soon. Sorry. We just did that thing. Uh, Z, I need a death saving throw. Come on, natural 20. <laughs> 13, though. How okay. far away is she from me? 30 feet. Okay. Well, not anymore. You just move closer. You want to be like right up next to her? Within 10 feet of her? Okay. So you get with within five feet of Artemis, then. Uh, yeah. Within. Okay. Yeah, we'll go okay. ahead and do that. Yeah. Okay. Deal. What does she get? Um. Plus two. It's a debt. That's a plus three, four, plus four. The saves, right? To saves, yeah. Any saving yeah. throw. Uh, death saving throw, so yeah. I mean, yeah. I, I rolled a 13, I succeeded yep. anyways. So. Okay, but I just... It still helps. It still helps. We, it turns we can a, stabilize you. I'll take it. <laughs> it turns a 6 into a 10. I don't think yeah. that's going to happen, but okay. Um. No. Black Rose is restrained. Well, this is fucking no, stupid. I, I called the robot oh. to him. Well, thank you. I like her. But I don't... Do I... Do I like you? You've been like mean and then not mean and then nice again and then mean well, and then you wrapped me up and then you took the wrap off. Listen, 
you lied because you said you would take that from us and then we would live after. They're dead. Who's I dead? like Artemis. Nobody's Artemis dead. dead. He's yet. not dead. Well, not yet. She might be dead not soon. Not dead yet. What about Bukesford? He's just resting. Uh, Can I make an inside check at that? No. <laughs> no. Can I make a one hit point inside? Um, I'm conscious, man. I'm, 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 I'm alive. I'm, I'm, the I'm, black, I'm, 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 The Black Rose will cast. Tell me about that. Yes, he does. You see, uh. <laughs> you see a big bee's hand come out of the ground and lift Z up into That's the air. Rude. And oh, also. The hand went away. Oh, yeah. Unconscious. And uses it uh, to drop Z into a vat. Splash. Sploosh. Ew. Sploosh. That makes it sound weird. And he goes like this. Got it. He's just weird. Um, Jessica, uh, you hear... That voice again in your head. Ah, you've realized that you could not win. Smart move sitting down and leaving it to the professionals. No, I just wasn't getting paid, so... How would you like to be paid? Uh, I would like me and my friends to live. You all not live. Not under your control. And you must stay alive. And that's all you hear. You're up. I stand up. I put my hand on my sword. And I breathe. And I use my... Uh, fighting spirit and I run at Artemis. Okay. For two attacks. Uh, so 26. Yep. And 25. Okay. Twenty-eight damage total. Whoop. What was the first one? Uh, it was fourteen and fourteen. Okay. Okay. You see, I the... also gained five temporary hit points. Yep. You see the they're st they're piercing weapons, right? Um, yep. You see how fast he is, and you know uh, he's concentrating on having cougar in his face, and you run up not think he doesn't think he thinks you're out of the fight and he run up and kind of surprise him with a quick couple stabs and you get to find a couple spots that uh he leaves open um normally unlikely with him and he gives you a look like a questionable like you might be good at this uh, i look directly at cougar to finish my turn and say give him everything you have all right that's the only way we're walking out of here. Uh, he was going to use his magic dagger on you, Desica. 17 to hit. That's the number. You take seven uh, magical damage. Um, you see the uh, the slice that you gave him on his like right by his neck, kind of heals up a little bit from his from the attack. <laughs> uh, and then it's his turn. Uh, he's going to use.
All right, he is going to use his uh which one is the thing oh there it is okay uh he's going to attack with his rapier and then his dagger uh, one to the rapier to Cougar and the dagger to uh, Desica. Does not have advantage. Attack with the rapier. 15 Ow. to hit on Cougar. Uh, that's a miss. Uh, he is going to use his uh, ability called Master Duelist to roll it again with advantage. No! And he gets a natural 20. No! Nice. You're dead, bye. Nice knowing you, bud. I still want to hear all the damage you rolled. Come on all once. He's still going to be unconscious, probably. No, because you don't double the modifier. I don't know. If he's like. a rogue, he has sneak attack. I'm not even. We don't know. Though. Just well, I guess he would if he had advantage, but you don't get sneak attack if you don't have advantage. And if Depends not, on the type of rogue. Hidden, he just rolled. He just rolled with advantage. I know he did. Yeah, I know. I know he did now, but I was saying before with all the other damage. But why is he rolling with advantage? Because he's so a he master does. duelist. Yeah. The master, master duelist. duelist. Okay. But would he get sneak attack? Yeah. yeah. He, he made, he made it advantage. advantage. He did advantage. Uh, yeah. Per the rules of sneak attack, if you have an ally within five feet of you, or if you have advantage on the attack roll, you can add sneak attack, sneak attack to the damage. Sneak attack. Mm -hmm. Sneak attack. Sneak, sneak attack. Sneak attack. I know. <laughs> I you take sure. 69 piercing damage. Nice. Oh, nice. Sorry. Yeah, 69 damage. But not nice. I'm unconscious. I know. I know your pain. I understand. What's your hit point maximum? Sixty-six. Jesus. Oh, how much were you cool. at? Um, I was at fifty-five. He's fine. Okay. Not okay. Dead. Okay. Not Jeez. Dead. Not, I was like, wait dead. a minute. Jeez. <laughs> not a. It's not a fatal blow. Not dead. Dead. <laughs> He was not at one me, HP. I was... <laughs> right. He was real close. And then the Mine dagger at Desica. Three. Mine was like by three. It's, that was sad. 29 to hit. Nope. I used my plot armor. <laughs> nice. Uh, you take, take 11 damage. Magical. On a notebook. Uh -huh. <laughs> uh, and then I need you to make a dexterity saving throw as the bright beam shoots from the ceiling. Nineteen. <laughs> you take no damage. Nineteen. No damage. Woo. Steve, awakened from the the goo, you feel refreshed. Like nice. Like you took a long rest, refreshed. At one hit point. He still Do went still in the at goo. one hit point? Do I still have my still at one hit point? Or... No. You feel like you've taken a long rest. Let me go ahead and start erasing things real quick. Look at all those spell slots I have again. And that's your turn. Great. Well, you can you Great, can make later. a you can make a um a uh, athletics or acrobatics to untie yourself from the thing if you want. Could I ask, could I alternatively ask the tower to bring me down and let me it's not, kill the cat? It's not uh, tower-related oh. stuff. Oh, fuck. oh, damn. Okay, athletics check? Yeah. Because, and the docks, the deck's all messed up, so t so Regis can't get there. Eight. Uh, yeah, you're having an issue getting out, uh, but you are fully healed and rested. Yep. <laughs> He wants I to kill so you. Did confused. you hear that? 
The tower controls him. Of course he does. All right. Uh, Cougar, unconscious. Roll me a death saving throw. Death save. You don't have an aura anymore. Yep, What'd you roll? So, uh, that's a fail. What'd you roll? What'd you roll? What'd you roll? Two. Ooh. Oh, okay. A one is two. A one is two death saves. Yeah. Yeah. No. <laughs> uh, Z. Unconscious. No aura. I also rolled a two. Okay. She's in <laughs> I know. Holy okay. shit. Oh, fuck. Regis pulls himself up, finally, uh, and runs towards the vat that was that has the Big, B hand, Big B's hand over it. Big B's uh, hand? And he presses it. <laughs> like, a, over to kick it out? Yeah, he presses a button, uh, and the ropes fall in, uh, and you see uh, Z being wheeled out, wheeled out of it, and she's unconscious, hanging. The Black Rose is up. He runs. He uh, looks over and sees Cougar, and he's just like, "Oh yeah, you. Hey you." And you see like Big B's hand turn and like looks at him, and he's like, and points backwards like me. He's like, "Yeah, you." He's like, "Oh me." He's like, "Yeah, yeah." Wait a minute. Fucking listen. And he just sends it over. <laughs> Pick him up and put him in that one. Thank you. And he gives you the finger as it goes by. <laughs> Me? No, wow. to to Cougar. Uh, Cougar's unconscious. He's I'm giving, unconscious. I can't see it. Cougar's anyway. unconscious body being dragged away by Big G Hand. Uh, and he's dropped <laughs> into the other vat. Uh, uh, at this point... Malcolm puts down his book. Emerging from the vat, uh, a large half orc comes out, uh, and oh. he's wearing just his like short loincloth <laughs> slash loincloth, yeah. Um, and he walks over towards um, walks over to Desica. You leave Bukesford, and he punches you. For a 15 to hit. I duck it. Uh, and then he goes, you make Shit. angry. And then he tries to punch you one more time. And he slips on the goo. <laughs> He's always been bad at this. Um... <laughs> Bukeford's conscious. There it goes. Thunder cat rolls. Here we go, everybody. Welcome to the start. Jessica, of the you're up. Uh, I bite my lip a little and use second wind. Okay. Eight plus five. I get 13 HP. And I attack the guy twice again. Okie dokie. Going down, fighting. Uh, 19, 8, 27. Looking at me. Yep. And a natural 20. All right. Give me the, the first. Give me the damage separate. Uh, 7, so 10 damage on the first one. Okay. Six, thirteen, twenty-six. <laughs> thirty-four damage on no thirty-three damage on the second hit. Okay. Kill him. And then I accept my fate. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, he looks at I you. Yeah, he looks at you and knowing that he's probably going to destroy you on this turn and he looks at you and goes I I just sheathed my sword after and I'm just like You could have been 
part of the the group. You could have lived with us and survived, but... But my will won't be my own. And he goes to throw rapier into your gut. Uh, and he's going to use his... Because uh, he missed real bad. But... <laughs> <laughs> He has a he has a at twentieth level he has stroke of luck. What is this bullshit? If an attack misses a, a target within range, within range, uh, he could turn the miss into a hit. At 20th level. <laughs> Jesus, we're level 8. <laughs> yeah, but, but there's we're essentially, four of us. There's four of us, so we're essentially level 24. <laughs> uh, you take... <laughs> well, none none of us now. 40, 44 points of cold damage. Bye. Conscious? Uh, is that with a rapier? That's with the rapier. So... I pull myself all the way up to him yep. and give him a big uh, kiss on the cheek. And uh, I as, as you're as you're like sliding off the rapier, di like dying unconscious, he takes I'm not unconscious. Oh, you're not? No. Oh. Okay. I'm still just Ow. like I'm trying to like hold the sword in place. Um Alright, give me a dexterity saving oh, throw oh. at disadvantage. <laughs> the fucking tower! Ah! Yay! 18. You, with disadvantage? Yeah. Fuck you. What are you <laughs> doing? 14. Uh, all right. Uh, so Steve, it's like, like you Steve, suck. Steve, it's your turn. This could have been really, really easy. How far is the? How far are they away from me? Like way up in the air. Uh, like, like 50, feet. like 50, 60 feet from you. Oh, I'd like to cast Hold Person on uh, Desica. Suck. <laughs> what is it? The wisdom, right? Wisdom saving, though. 22. Hey, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take Why some of those. These have been damage rolls. <laughs> I'm getting him out of the way, buddy. Cougar, give me uh, a. That's saving. Action. Throw. No bonus action. I got no movement. Yeah, okay. you're you're restrained otherwise. Fifteen. You're just hanging there like. Uh... Yeah, he's like casts up. What'd you roll? Fifteen. All right, there you go. Success. Um. Z, uh, you feel um. This insatiable pain. Um, you're unconscious, but you wake up and to the pain and just cry out this loud yelp uh and you see this room ah. this fire yeah this like fire oh, room oh. that um where did it land on you you had part of that in your backstory where did the where did that rune take you over did i you touched something you said right where where would it oh, where so would it probably be like in the palm yeah so you see like your hand just like starts burning and your hand opens up and there's this like fire this rune for fire in your hand and you just see this explosion of fire around your hand, and then this leather piece falls out with the rune on it. Uh, and you're back unconscious. And Can I roll a death save? Yes. That's weird. I also rolled a 15. <laughs> Look at you guys. Okay. That's really weird. What is with the rolls tonight, guys? Regis. I don't know. Regis holding two uh, of these leather uh, things walks over to Artemis because he's close enough at this point um, and puts them out for him to touch. Great. We just helped make the next supervillain. Good job, mm -hmm. guys. Black Rose um, drops cougar into the vat finally uh 
and l likes uh, <laughs> yeah. looks at Desica and sees that uh, Artemis is about to finish her, and he says, "Excuse me, sir. Please, though, like ser seriously, can I do it? Can I finish? Can I finish this for you?" And uh, Artemis looks at him and goes, "Shut." The fuck up. <laughs> and Can I Artemis... say it in unison with him? <laughs> yeah, that'd be fine, yeah. You both say it at the same time. And uh, Artemis <laughs> just takes out the jewel dagger and just sticks it into your neck and finishes you off. Um, Does he, though? I mean, I could roll for his for his attack and his, well, his three Do attacks. It. You want me to Do roll it. for his three attacks? Yes. You're just dragging it out at this point. <laughs> 27? Nope. That one hits. That one misses. Okay, he misses on that I one. activated plot armor, Kevin. And 22. Uh, yeah, uh, the plot armor broke. Oh. <laughs> oh. Damn. I'm sorry, his level cap was 7. Um, <laughs> You fall unconscious. Uh, Everyone at this point, except for Steve, is out. Uh, Bukesford is out, uh, and they've both changed their alignments. Uh, they are both evil people now. Um, the the vats had taken over there. Uh, I'm not the vats. The the tower had taken over their um, their thoughts, uh, and the the tower actually provides with to them though. They they survive and live actually really well with the tower. <laughs> um, Z Desica and uh cougar all fall unconscious lose their powers yeah you all don't have your um soul powers anymore um artemis is now uh in control of all five of the totems uh and is now um the like most powerful humanoid being on Super uh, the Sword One. Coast. Um, yeah, he's basically not the win. super villain. You won. Um, won. You all. You won. You're filthy fucking Bukesford. traitor. Yeah, Bukesford. Yeah, you buddy. All... Let's go. You all. Um... Kills you. <laughs> <laughs> you all. Um... So the three of you are, um... wake up uh, in the vat of juice. You, uh, you all feel like you've had a full rest, have all of your stuff back, um, but your intelligence, all of your stats have been dropped to 10. Oh. <gasps> oh, I'd rather be dead than that. You are all just commoners oh, now. You are not, you don't have powers. You are left out into the world, uh, forgetting who you were and what you did. Uh, That's kind of rough. You know, St Steve, I mean, and Steve and Bukesford got to keep their memories. If, they just, if everyone just joined in with the tower, you all would have been the most powerful right, beings in no, the no, world. No, 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 no. I have a feeling like this is you telling us we need to be a better team for some reason i don't know if that's what well, the whole point the, of this is the, the, the initial like reason why we were playing was for like teamwork and team, team like to see how you guys we could strategize together and it really took some turns <laughs> <laughs> i feel like it's a good thing i didn't really um, care about the character otherwise i might feel devastated right now i left somebody to die you really did we all did <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's well. That's what I'm saying. Like, part of the part of the strategy is like, yeah, maybe we should like talk about some of this stuff. Just gonna try to talk it all out right, so too. All... I wasn't even gonna attack the guy. I mean, then he just like one tapped me. I don't know. I feel like I feel like what I learned from this is that when I have an out, I should take it. That's what I got from this. So always don't, run away. Never engage. Don't talk. Always to run away. Yeah. Okay. So uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. So. With the the end of that, there is now a supervillain running around in Faerun. Um, maybe you'll run into him again. Yay! That's gonna be like, no, that's gonna be like. <laughs> I want to work if for we him. Ever have yeah. Oh no. Well, I, well, yeah. Maybe we could do a maybe we could do an evil campaign where you work for the yeah. villain. You work for him. 
you guys are like he's Thanos and you were you were all of his you were all of his like oh. you're Ronin and Gamora <laughs> like before before the this. Avengers. <laughs> Who knows? Wow. Uh, I had a lot of fun though. Um, for anyone that wasn't here last week, we had a room where they were in a furry room. It was like. It was all full these, of kittens and all bunnies. All these cute and... bunnies and kittens, yeah. And it was like restful was looking so area. So if you if they had l sat down and taken a rest, I was going to let them all get full rest. Like full, like one hour rest would have given you full rest, all of your powers back, everything would have came back, and you would have leveled up. I tried like you three might have times been able to, to win. take a fucking nap. So you might have been able to win this fight. So like everything I did was like graded <laughs> depending on where you guys should be and i made i could have been level nine and evil yep damn it damn it you're sleeping on the couch tonight fuck you <laughs> <laughs> so no the tower is actually the towers controls evil char evil characters uh so like that's why the the orcs f uh, attacked in the beginning um that's why the goblins were kind of all out of sorts because most of them are evil um uh but the but the goblins didn't didn't beat you so the tower said fuck you you didn't finish what i wanted you to do so they killed the goblins um and then the That's tower the tower is basically the sentient being and it's the most powerful magic artifact that you can find no so I was in, so allow me. Read the Dark Tower series. I was like, this give me Dark Tower series. No, nope, this is so actually R. A. Salvatore's um, the Crystal Shard. It's kind of like Space Jam or Spell Jammer mm -hmm. a little bit, but that's different and in space. Dee Dee, uh, I know so Dee Dee's listening, wanted... so eventually you're gonna yeah. get into like which how book? They... Which book is that? It's in four. Four. Okay, I'm still I'm still on Homeland. I'm still yeah. on the first. It's one. after yeah. that trilogy. So, it's the mm -hmm. first. When I became. Series. One with the tower, um, I did not have any ability to uh, manipulate that to my advantage because I still had to make the athletics or dexterity check to get down. And then I realized I'm a spellcaster. Now I'm a, just a dangling fucking cannon. Let's just stay up here. Yeah, um, they could... Right, Peter Pan, <laughs> calm down. The, the characters that were part of the tower could uh, ask for help and would be aided if they needed it. So basically, like, Artemis is powerful but then he also has the tower backing him up so like at some points when i was like oh no that doesn't miss that hits he's like the tower is like pushing him forward or the that misses because the tower like hit your knee a little and it turned you like you know what i mean like basically that's what i was going to do if i needed to but at that point i i knew artem you guys didn't rest so I knew at that yeah. point it was just Artemis's battle at that point. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> but this is, door to this is this is I knew it. <laughs> yeah, and I would have allowed it, and you could have been the one that brought back the next party. Like we could have had another. You know, what I, you know what I mean? You though high. you could have worked <laughs> to get more powerful, whatever. You know what I mean? Whatever. Well, Artemis would have been Hell going no. at, going for you. Artemis would have been looking for you either way because he wanted that last power. So well, I'm used you would have been it. on the run. Yeah, I've you would have been, been on the run cult. even more. Um. Yep. So yeah, before we go, what do you guys think? Do you guys have fun? Yeah, I enjoyed. Yeah, yeah, I, no, I had fun. Yeah. I just hate losing. So yeah, bad. yeah. it's not losing. Yeah. You don't lose in D and D. You die. I lost. <laughs> I died. Your, char your character didn't die. It's okay. Everything I about your character actually... died. <laughs> Yeah, the legend of my character died. I like the part where my character just die. Dwayne's just a part where they all died. Um, <laughs> Thunder K, who's oh that guy? God. That's the that's the uh, the the storm over the tropical island. <laughs> the Thunder K's. <laughs> there you go. Um, no, it was good though. And, I like yeah, the story. I I had fun running it because normally I don't run uh, death fast death type <laughs> campaigns um normally i watched I, people take a beating and i went oh thundercats yeah, I, not playing any fucking games i had okay. fun doing that this is like, a one shot yeah. this is a one shot yeah no, it was the uh 42 damage i was like fuck <laughs> level, 20 oh. level 20 rogue level 20 rogue 
So here's 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 the dirty little trick that I started to do. I went, oh, outside of the tower, first floor, second floor, third floor, fourth floor, and then I went, oh, there's the fifth floor. Fuck. The dungeon, it's a five-room dungeon. You piece of, you, you son of a bitch. You even gave <laughs> us an out. It's a five-room dungeon <laughs> with an outside. Yep. <laughs> it's got a foyer. I was God trying damn. to I was trying to figure out like the best way to have the tower like manipulate stuff and I was like the tug of war room is like so fucking funny to me it's like let's see how strong you guys are I'm a tower <laughs> you know what I mean like that I was trying like the mirror room yeah let's see how smart you guys are plus there's a couple of bad guys down there that are gonna try to fuck with you that sucked that was the worst part. <laughs> it it all worked. It all worked. I had it fun. Totally split us up. <laughs> yeah, well, that was, and then I, I fucking, I led you on so hard at, when we were outside. I was like, "Are you gonna try to go up the tower or what? Like, you are you gonna actually do what you? I love, gonna, I love I, it. I, I dirty DM so you hard. Do it. <laughs> you sure you want to run up there? Yes, I want to run up there. Send me up there. Okay, you're going up. Treat you. <laughs> what well, a great I, time. Like I, I wasn't going to do it either because, like, once you described that, like, the the platform had slid back in, I was like, or that somebody was up there on the platform, I was like, oh, well, I originally thought that there was nothing up there and I could just, like, maybe try to see what's going on with this crystal up here. But I was like, I, I don't need to do this. There's no point in me doing this. And then you were, like, asking me about it. I was like, and and Steve just kept, like, talking shit about it. I was like, okay, I'll do I'll it. I'll fucking do it out. then. Whatever. <laughs> I'm sorry. I knew what Thundercat was doing, and I just—I was like, I want to egg him on a little bit. I want to see what he's gonna do. I don't know what it does, so I want to know. Like Patsy's like, all right. I appreciate you being here, Fuzz. Yeah, thanks, yeah, thanks Fuzz. Thanks for being I'm here. I'm glad man. you liked it. I had a lot of fun running it. Um, I yeah, have what, a question. What's what's next? What happens next week? Yeah. Let's talk about that. We so got some, the, we got the, a fight, the fight for the forest had, it continued and it concluded. I know. Ambiguously. The forest um, did not yeah. succeed. So, the forest wins. No, um, the tower wins. The forest loses. I assume the Steve forest is Bukesford, just by the tower now. Artemis and the tower won. We are Hold now supervillains. First off, I forgot. Like This is like one of the <laughs> biggest things. Like The crystal... The crystal shard it is the it is the artifact and i was trying to point out how there's this really cool gleaming thing at the roof of the building and nobody did? did nobody did anything to it and i was like okay i'm gonna leave it there <laughs> it's just gonna keep shooting you guys instead <laughs> like no one wanted to worry about well, it well that was if i didn't die that was gonna be my next thing i was gonna try to dimension door up to that but i died so couldn't I was like, maybe this will help me. That would have been now I am strong. fucking awesome. Then I would have had to end the game right there. <laughs> yep. And then next week we would have had another ah! episode. Just fuck that shard up. Thanks for watching this dysfunctional D&D presentation of the Fight for the Forest. Be sure to smash that like button and subscribe for more dysfunctional D&D content. Homebrewed just for you.